What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Java tutorial. Today I want to be covering uh, something called escape sequences. And escape sequences are used in string literals. So if you remember we covered string literals, it's when you literally type in a string in between quotation marks, just like this. Um, now if you were to say, let's say my name is Cooper, okay, what if you want to put quotes around the word is? Right, if you put quotes in there now, it does that and it, you can't really do it right so this is an example where you would use an escape sequence and there's quite a few that we're going to be going through and um, I'll cover them some of them aren't really useful but I'll still mention them we're just not really gonna spend that much time on them so yeah I'm gonna stick with that so the first one that I want to cover is a tab escape sequence so if you you can type in a tab let's say just like this and if you run it it will show up just like that. Well, if you have a ton of tabs in your string, this might get pushed all the way out to here, and it could go off your screen, and it's like, oh my god, you don't want to do that, because that's just like a lot of, you know, it, it looks weird, right? So what you can actually do is do a forward slash and a T, and this will do the same thing. Um, well, actually, the way that tabs work is kind of similar to Microsoft Word, so you might need two of them there. Uh, if you run them, there you go. There's your space. Uh, it's because it treats each tab is like essentially like a block it's like that big and so because the name is already takes up enough of those characters it only tabs over to finish that little block uh, if i were to shorten like this right here and run it you'll see it only goes up to finish to finish that little block right there if you were to shorten the word name to just like a you'll notice that you actually get the full the full effect there so it, depending on how long your your word is you might need multiple tabs um, but that's a perfect example of why you could just kind of put a whole bunch of spaces there and you can end up with a pretty big a big space here and and you don't have to throw your text off the screen so the next one I want to cover is a uh, a new line character if you want to say uh, like you know names and let's say you wanted to just add a whole list of names underneath here. Right now, with what you guys know, you would have to do multiple system out print lines. You do like Cooper, and then maybe like Brianna, and you could do, you know, uh, Peter, whatever. And you end up with these names like this. This can kind of get tedious to have a whole bunch of lines here. And so what you can actually do is you can type Cooper, Brianna, Peter, get rid of this. And if you run it, you'll see they're all on the same line. But luckily for you, there's an easy escape sequence. Forward slash N will do the trick for you guys. So if you replace these spaces with forward slash N and you run it, it will move them all onto their new line. So that is, uh, that is that one. Now the next one uh, that I'm going to cover is how to do a single quote. Uh, if you guys remember when we talked about different variable types, there was one called a char or car, and you declared it with a single quote. If you want a single quote to actually show up in, um, like in, in your string, you can do a forward slash and then the single quote show up just like that uh, and same for this kind of goes back to the original problem that we had at the beginning is how do you get a double quote in the middle of your string without it showing up weird and you can do a forward slash and double quote so if you want Cooper to be in double quotes you do forward slash double quote on both sides of it and it'll put quotation marks around it so that's kind of both of them in one so if you use forward slash and then something, right, as an escape sequence, how do you just get a forward slash? You can't just put it in there because it's going to say it's an illegal escape character. It says, I don't know what forward slash C does. That's not a real thing. So how do you get one? Very simply, you just do two double slashes, just like that. And if you run it, you get those. Well, what if you want a double slash? Then you add two more to get double. And if you want three, then you're going to add another two in the middle of here. 
basically for every forward slash or back forward slash that you want you're going to do two of them instead and that will give you that'll give you those so now we're going to get on to the super kind of useless uh, escape sequence I, I mean they they have a purpose they're just you're probably not going to use them to be 100% honest with you if you want to stop watching the video here I get it but if you want to keep watching just so you're aware of them well here we go so first one is a backspace forward slash and a B all this does is it prints off names Cooper and then it'll backspace over the R so you get my names and then Coop. It, like I said kind of useless you would just just backspace it out yourself and run it save yourself three keystrokes I, I don't know <laughs> you could probably find a use for it if you do some fancy looping thing to backspace officer. I don't know, guys. To be honest, I'm honest with you. I've never used this thing in my life. It's there. I know about it. It's not very useful. So, whatever. None of these ones are that I'm going to be going over. The next one is a carriage return. Honestly, a lot of you guys probably don't really even know what that is. Some of you guys do. If you do, props to you. Awesome. If you don't, uh, it's, it refers back to like an old typewriter, and you type out on it, and then you have to move the paper back over like you move that whole slider thing that's called the carriage um, or carriage however you pronounce it whatever um, basically what it does is it, it moves the like cursor back to the beginning of the line so uh, if I were to use it here it's, it's forward slash or backslash R and then uh, you'll see it basically just prints out anything that comes after it uh, it'll print out names and then it goes back to the beginning and prints out Cooper. So it's, again, kind of useless. It just like backspaces out your entire anything before this escape sequence and replaces it with anything after the escape sequence. So that is that one. And the next one is a form feed. Now, this one might be useful, possibly. Um, basically, it's uh, forward slash and then an, an F, and you'll notice here, it adds a little arrow here. It, it's not to make it look fancy, it's not to add cool arrows. What this actually does is if you ever use Microsoft Word, and you add a page break, or if they have it in more than just Microsoft Word too, when you add a page break, right, when you print off your paper, it'll print off, in this case, names on one piece of paper, and then it'll add Bob onto a second piece of paper. It breaks up the pages. That's what this is used for. So if you write a Java program to print stuff off, the escape sequence uh, F for form feed basically adds a page break there. And the arrow is just to indicate that it's there it, it, so that when you test your program, you know where it is. But that is the, that is the use for that one. So that's about it for escape sequences, guys. I uh, hope you guys all enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. Catch you later, guys. Have a good one.